Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about misfire detection in spark ignition core engine using onboard diagnostics. What is engine misfiring? Engine misfires happen when one of the cylinders does not produce sufficient spark or compression and lack of fuel. It could involve more than one cylinder. It can be caused by faulty spark plug, fuel injector, ignition coil and or one cylinder. This example shows how to implement onboard diagnostics and detect engine misfires. Also, this example uses a powertrain block set and autosar block set to introduce, detect, mature and report misfire events from the SI core engine. Come let us see the Simulink model of uh, misfire detection in spark ignition engine. Uh, this block shows a uh, sim Simulink model developed by Math Mathworks. Uh, this onboard uh, diagnostics breakout box and then the, the, this one the diagnosis tool and uh, uh, engine plant with sensors and actuators and these are the diagnostic probes and the fault counters and uh, display units are shown here. The next one what is onboard diagnostic breakout box? This subsystem defines misfire events to inject into the simulation navigate to auto block SI core engine model breakout box. This injector pulse width fault, fault injection uh, for that uh, you will change the parameters block parameters of misfire events in the subsystems uh, having injection of misfire events misfire events are defined for uh, each cylinder with a more monotonically increasing uh, row vectors uh, to define no misfire enter the scalar values this is four cylinder values you, you, you can give us the input cylinder 1 misfire events and cylinder 2 misfire events and all and the injector pulse width fault, fault injection and crank position sensor fault detection also uh, using this uh, OBD breakout uh, box subsystem design and uh, this block this uh, this block shows crank train block if, if you want to uh, check this block open the crank, crank crank train block to modify the engine crank train geometry and dynamics here uh, uh, this engine crank, crank train geometry and dynamics uh, provides the cylinder cylinder bore cylinder crank uh, con rod ratio and crank to crown ratio, ratio rotational damping coefficient and initial engine speed etc we can set the uh, block parameters by using this subsystem block and this uh, this simulic model shows uh, engine plant with sensors and actuators block. This SI core engine computes uh, cylinder pressure as a function of crank angle, the crank VR sensor and measurement circuit simulates the 58 tooth uh, wheel that tracks the progression of the four stroke engine, uh, engine cycle. Here what is the crank VR sensor and measurement uh, circuit block? Uh, this block shows crank variable electron sensors, VR sensors, it's called as VR sensors. Here uh, intake manifold and this is uh, SI core engine block and this is a crank train subsystem block and this block the crank VR sensor and measurement circuit block. Here it shows uh, 58 teeth, uh, 2 gap teeth and uh, tooth 44 is typically TDC compression cylinder 1 and tooth 1 is the first uh, tooth after the gap. These are the parameters you have to set. And detecting the engine misfires using a MATLAB onboard chargers, onboard diagnostic method the probes, uh, the diagnostic probe output displays a trouble codes appear P03000 is a general warning for a misfire issue is one or more cylinders and another one P0303 indicates a specific misfire issue with uh, cylinder. Let us see at the same at the time of simulation you see the diagnostic probe by using uh, this type of uh, errors is coming. and. Uh, uh, one of the diagnostic pro parameters you yourself you you set the parameters uh, as the inputs for uh, defined crack angle windows for speed measurements and crack angle window for uh, speed low point angle and high point angle can uh, set the set as the uh, diagnosis parameter uh, for this subsystem block here yeah, this diagnostic probe model references uses autosar block set blocks to call autosar uh, service function the get status uh, blocks get the diagnostic status for the four engine cylinders and another one uh, this is diagnosis pro parameters here one of the block called the get status block get the diagnosis status for the four engine cylinders uh, here you can see the uh, get status block and then this one bit is under operator 
and the get counter blocks get the fault detection counter for the engine cylinders these are the uh, two type of errors you can see and after the simulation you can see the uh, diagnostic probe output here this uh, uh, fault counters block shows the output and the next one is the trace selection box again the diagnostic probe it, it shows the uh, misfiring uh, event and this is one of the uh, best application of this MATLAB is called a Simulink Data Inspector. Uh, by using this uh, simulink, uh, simulation data inspector, we can analyze each and every uh, scope outputs. For example, crack angle, engine speed and misfire event cycles and also uh, indicated torque we, we can see uh, by using this simulation data inspector. Also, you can generate code, you can generate um, algorithm by using this uh, simulation data inspector. Let us see uh, the simulation part. This is a uh, engine plant with sensors uh, actuator block. The model uh, we showed in the, uh, the discussion with the uh, presentation section. For example, these are OBD breakout box. This onboard diagram breakout box. Here it contains, you double click on that, it contains crank position sensor fault detection block and injection injector pulse width fault uh, injection blocks these are ecu signals this ecu signals are steady state example inputs you can uh, give give it here and same same thing crank position sensor fault detection unit this one uh, this is called a obd breakout box and the next one you already know about the ec with the tpu and diagnosis block here this, this are the tpu input block and TPU engines, uh, engine speed calculation block and TPU level misfire direction block this one. Here uh, we, may, we see the OBD misfire algorithm. And uh, these are the uh, diagnosis parameters you can see is a OBD uh, misfire uh, block by, by using this chart model. This algorithm shows a misfire direction and diagnostic. Here, this crank speed measured uh, during two crank uh, crank angle windows, low point around zero degree and high point around ninety degree. Uh, it shows the inputs. Uh, de you have to define the crank angle windows for speed measurements for a low point and high point. This is a chart model for OBD misfire unit. This one, if you double click on that, you will get the block chart model block. And uh, these are the di diagnostic parameters. And this is a crank speed and time counters and the reset operation cycles. These are all coming under this function. Then uh, the engine speed calculation block. This block is the engine speed calculation block. And uh, uh, engine plant with sensors and actuators. These are the important uh, subsystem of this example. Here uh, the intake manifold. There is a SI core engine block. In this block. Uh, shows the SI core engine box. It implements a spark ignition engine from um, intake, uh, intake, the, uh, intake to exhaust port. Uh, use the block in a large vehicle models, hardware in the loop engine control design or vehicle level fuel economy and uh, performance uh, simulation etc. Here you can uh, have the uh, drop down list. You can uh, set the air mass flow uh, model. Uh, there are two models are uh, given here. You can uh, analyze by using these two models. Dual, dual in one is Dual independent variable cam posting, facing method, and another one is simple speed density. In this example, I am using dual independent variable cam facing method. And the, you can set the torque model, two types of torque model as are there. Uh, one is torque structure, another one is simple torque lookup. And the next one is the parameters model. The, you, you, here itself, you can set the parameters for air, number of cylinders you can set, and crank revolution per power stroke. Uh, total displaced volume, ideal gas, constant care, and uh, in the in the in the parameter of for uh, torque, crack angle signals, uh, torque at uh, optimal conditions. In this manner, we can set the values here. These are cylinder pressure, brake torque, speed brake points, lo uh, load brake points, and etc. You can give here. The next one, the exhaust parameter. Here itself, you can set the temperature, exhaust temperature table. Uh, in the in the in the way of CSC CSC file, or you can. Uh, give the matrix file format emissions emissions where there is a CO2, CO, NOx, HC and PM. Next one, you, are, you can say, set the fuel parameters, inject, injectors, 
slope and uh, you can analyze by using the air, air fuel ratio fuel uh, lower heating value fuel specific gravity etc by using this uh, basic si core engine uh, block parameter block similarly the crank this is a crank crank train uh, block by using this block on the engine crank train uh, geometry and dynamics uh, you can set the inputs for uh, uh, cylinder uh, cylinder bore uh, and uh, rotational damping coefficient etc initial engine speed uh, also you can set by using this one the again the finally the crank vrs sensor and measurement circuit is an important circuit it is uh, written in matlab uh, matlab script format m file format here itself the function is defined for uh, finding uh, the measurement circuit we are by using this we are we are a circuits the next one uh, the diagnostic probe block is an important block here these are the blocks the diagnostic probe blocks are there this one for fault counters these are uh, output window once you run the simulation you can get the fault counters values is a diagnostic probe uh, 772 here 61 there are some uh, more, more, more kind of uh, probes are available here this one these are these are values it shows the values the displays counters and uh, we discuss about this sim simulation data inspector here you can see the outputs for uh, crack angle versus engine speed and also this misfire event uh, happens and uh, indicates this torque torque also here you can for example in crack angle you can uh, see both engine speed and uh, uh, misfire event and also indicator torque all the all the graphics for uh, one window here yeah, but there are so many so, so many options are available here you can compare compare with uh, signal name what is the signal name and compare to the signals the, the, here also it is possible and inspect unit and you can also download uh, download this yeah download save as format and import and export data to the workplace and we can generate report what we discussed in the, the time of uh, um, presentation section we can uh, get the report also we can generate report if you go for uh, writing the paper journal writing paper uh, writing the thesis in this type of uh, the one of the best application of this matlab uh, simulating toolbox is called the simulation data inspector it takes some more time let us see after generate uh, after generating this uh, report we can see And then this next one is a uh, misfire uh, event. Here also is with the two, two probes, probe pro 14.1 and probe 14.2. Here also you can find the peak finder. In this value, peak finder previously shows the peak finder value in the probe 14.1. Uh, the next one 14.2. Here you can see. Here now, now we are getting peak finder here. Here now the reports are generated as in the form of HTML. Here the report generator you can see the date report generator uh, 6 July. Now uh, in this manner you can analyze the report. Also you can see the reports and say, save as a format. Here a lot of things are available. Here you can uh, see the step by step procedure is given in another video I hope uh, this video is useful useful for you thank you thank you so much we will see the uh, next video thank you